In this video you'll find out if just a guy like me can make a dead cells, what you can do with 3 months experience and how I made my own presentation party. My name is Alex, I'm making games and I'm posting videos about it. Subscribe if you didn't and without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Dead cells is not an easy game to make, especially with 3 months experience, but nobody was talking about making dead cells in the first place. With numbers of skills we had, it was barely enough to make a duh, and I'm not even talking about ad cells. Besides, we had 3 months deadline and that was for two reasons. We want to know what we are capable of in three months and you need a deadline if you don't want to work on your project slow and forever. So what is done in three months will be entire game. We knew how to work with side scrolling games because we made this one as our first project. I'll leave link to that in the description. We wanted to make one hour gameplay and because we are not a storytellers, it's clear we need a replayable game loop and it should be logical without any explanation. So I guess yeah, we're making dead cells. I just wanna say my last video kicked off pretty well and I'm so grateful the least I can do is to give away a few keys of my latest course. Winners can text me to get a key. If you want to be a next winner just leave any comment under this video and I'll choose couple of them. After watching lots of devlogs I knew I need to manage scope of the game. I made this cute game design document, we got bunch of references and elevator pitch for this game was 2D God of War in a cyberpunk world. I believed in my idea like it was a lifetime opportunity. In my head it was astonishing fighting game, God of War like brutal fights, main hero cyborg with multiple skills, well designed RPG system polished environment with the backgrounds, but we have this. No, no, it will get better, you just stay with me. Let's see the original plan for this game. We want to have at least one hour of gameplay, around five skills for player, five to six enemies, four bosses, four locations, story, and it should be... Legend. Elisha. Daddy. Ah! I should tell you I was not working alone, my friend does the graphics, I work in Unity and everything else we decide together. Now let's analyze that cells a bit. It has lots of weapons in it and our guy doesn't need any, but he can use different skills. It means I need to build a system that allows to expand the character without hurting those parts that already exist. And even then two years ago I understood that if I make everything in one player controller it can get messy real quick. The best choice I found at that time to use finite state machine and I didn't know how to use it. But as a beginner I knew how to search for stuff. And this man explains everything so deeply that even your ex would be jealous. It allows allows you to reuse the code for player, enemies and what is most important, it is expandable. So it means I can add new skills whenever I want to and it won't break anything in the code. Although it took me lots of time to learn, payback was better than I expected. Because with this system adding new skills of any type was just a piece of cake. Now let's talk about the enemies. This is a cyberpunk setting and my friend didn't want to make just another SWAT soldier so we had to think of something creative. Searching through Pinterest and throwing some sketches I came up with this one. And this is not the enemy. This is the one, poor guy just controlled by a robot. Then every game like this needs a shooting enemy and again it appears we are all about creativity here, so we decided to make this dog like machine that shoots from the tail. Turned out cool I think. Now watch this, next one will be interesting. At that time my friend did his first steps in 3D and he thought of something. You know that in Dead Cells all of the models are made and animated in 3D and after that they turn graphic into pixelated art. So we did kinda the same and this guy is supposed to spread bullets like a bouncing betty. I tried different iterations of that, had some fun with it and chose this one. What we had after two months of work looked good, but nothing like nearly finished game. Let's see the checklist again. One hour gameplay is so under question. We have four skills for player with the basic set of movements. We got three different enemies. We got zombie who attacks in melee. We got this cute puppy who can shoot. And this perfect example of lazy game design. One boss, I'm gonna tell you about him in a minute, and somewhat location. I guess my original plan was, can we say optimistic? But still, we did a lot. Me from the past barely knows what he doing, was happy and proud. Now about the boss. My friend gave me artwork and some ideas of what he should do. But still I had questions, like what are his skills, what about the damage, cooldowns, difficulty of the boss in general. I decided it will be known once we have a test build, so let's take it step by step. 
I made him fly to random points and choose one of the stages between those movements. First stage is just a long shot, uh, second stage is kind of a beam laser that pushes you back and gives you tremendous damage. There is another one, which I called Rocket Rain. And oh boy, I had struggles with this one. In the end, I just made it as simple as it can be, rocket goes up with a certain angle and physics will handle the rest. There is another stage which reminds me of something and I honestly cannot hold myself to show you what I mean. Look at this. This is the one, right? There is no way you don't see it. This is the Bankai Senbon Zakura Kanichi. <laughs> It was challenging and I had fun making it. I made these bullets go up and then follow the player. And at this stage all you can do is just avoid them. Felt cool. Let me know in the comments where you would take inspiration for different features in the game. We didn't want this game to be too easy, so we increased difficulty and we made this shop with the upgrades. So our game has all of that RPG elements that big boys dream about. You can purchase skills and they will disappear on your next run, but stat update will be saved between sessions. So if you cannot beat the boss, you can just farm for a bit and have an easy victory. I had a plan of making skill upgrades with a skill tree, but after 3 months of development I was so tired of this game so it just didn't happen. And yes, what you see on your screen is a switching between gamepad and keyboard, sometimes you just want to make stuff because it's cool. Before we jump to conclusion, let me tell you about unique health system that I came up with. So what you see in the left corner is an energy shield, and these 3 elements is a kind of a last chance HP. No matter amount of damage you take, you lose 1 point. You can always restore a shield, but not an HP. And I guess this is the reason I couldn't beat my own creation. You bastard. As I said I was tired of making this game, and I decided there is no better way to finish the game than setting a release date. So I called my friends to check it out. Honestly it felt cool, like I'm doing something with my life. We had them seated in front of TV, we did presentation, talking about the game, how difficult it was to make and did some explanation of game development process, then everybody enjoyed the party and everyone tried to play the game one by one. As a conclusion I want to say it was fun to make. My friends did like it, although I think they were just very supportive. I learned a lot, but I guess this was the first time I realized I'm not good for big projects. Because I was so tired of this game, I nearly hated it. And there was some other stuff to do, to improve in this game. But right after our presentation party, I forgot about it immediately. Looking at this experience now with the two years past, I think we did good enough. I remember myself thinking I would never be able to create a video game and here it is. Go and try to beat it. It's hard. And something I want to say to you, my viewer. I'm really, really grateful to you for watching this video till this moment. Please leave a comment below, it really helps to grow the channel. Together with you guys, I jumped from 140 subs up to 270. And it feels like it's happening with someone else but not with me. Check out the course if you want to make your own video game, join the community and remember, we don't play games, we make them.